Hi everybody and welcome to the Becoming podcast. We have Jenny Glad with us today talking about uh, what is she doing with her work uh, and helping people not only here in Mallorca but all around the world. Before we start with, with, uh, with Jenny, um, I'd like you to please like, share, subscribe and uh, call out to share one of my sponsors uh, for helping me so much with the website and all the work that you've done. Jenny, welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks Happy for, to be here. Yay, onto the Becoming podcast. And, Thank and, you. And, uh, and how's it, how you, you've evolved being here in Mallorca for the work that you're doing. Mm. So tell me, what do you do? So I'm a transformational life and business coach. Okay. I help people with their careers, with their businesses, but it's like I offer holistic transformations, meaning as a hypnotherapist, I also, we do the healing part for habits, for mm -hmm. behaviors, when we feel like we're going against, or when people go against themselves and they can't do what they want to do, yep. or they feel yep. stuck and like it's a dead end. And I'm really good at helping so people solve the problems. Right, wow. And become like uh, opening up the doors for the new. Yeah. Maybe professionally, personally, mm -hmm. making difficult decisions and helping to get them through the transformation and transition. Sure. Yeah. Difficult decisions like? Sometimes it's about relationships. Mm -hmm. Quite often these things are not only, you know, when we're working with the things holistically or yes. it's not about the holistic that much, but you know, when it's about relationships, quite often there's work. Sometimes people are burned out and yes. burned, burned out is not really about working too much. The drivers behind and internal drivers are right. different. Right. That leads to it. It's never about one thing. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Mm. And the people that you're working with, is there a certain sort of age group that you work with or is it a, a mix? Yeah, I think that the people are usually over 30, 35, up till their 60s. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes even older, mm -hmm. you know, I have worked with people on their 70s when they want to figure out what they're going to do next in their life sure. and they are, you know, um, they want some changes and sure. of course you know, think about the age, you know, yeah, so it's, yeah. not, it's, it's more likely what people are drawn to me, it's about the problem, mm -hmm. it's about the stuckness, I don't know what, what is the solution, I want something back that I had earlier, right. but I can't. Yes. I don't know what or how, I don't know what is actually standing in my way. Or sometimes they know exactly what's standing in the way, but they don't dare to go there yes. yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. figure it all yeah. out on their own. Yeah, and, and the age is interesting because you said, you know, 70, because 70 is, is the new sort of the, what it used to be, 40 or 45, because we're living so much longer now. Yeah. That even in, you know, 65, 70s, you've still got a lot of life going yes. the age expectancy is over 100 now for, oh for, for yeah 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 and it's in i'm 47 so mm -hmm. it's like i've been exploring that you know going through some sort of a crisis here yes personally and i'm thinking like what i want to do on my 70s where i want to be yes. and how do i want to you know impact influence what what's yes. my how do i fulfill my life purpose that my work is yeah that's i think you just really that's a really good comment, quite a powerful one. How do I want to, in a way, still be serving yeah. at that age? And that's, I mean, that's a lot closer to me than it is for you. Mm -hmm. But it is still about, you know, being worthy and, and worthwhile, doing something for, for the community and the people around you. Absolutely. And I feel like I'm just getting started, you know, going yeah. through my own transformation after transformation and all that while I've been building up and doing mm -hmm. and following my calling all the time. I feel like I still have so much yes. to do and give and, and I'm really eager and yeah. happy and so lucky that I have found my own purpose yes. and my mission. Yes, yeah, I can see. You can see with the energy, the enthusiasm yes. that's coming out. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so important. It's so important. Well, it's like, a, yeah, you know, it's absolutely. not a nine to, it's not a nine to five. When you're helping others to change their lives and, yes. you know, really, and I love working with people who <clears> have <throat> that big mission and a lot of potential and they feel like I'm not going there. I'm yes. afraid. I have resistance. I'm yeah. sabotaging myself with some habits or, yeah. um, and, you know, supporting them. It's like a ripple effect yes. that I create in yeah. the world and that yeah. means everything yeah, to me. Yeah, very much. And as you know, we talk about, we, we start with ourselves and then that ripple just expands yeah. out, doesn't it? Yeah, 
you know? Yeah. And yeah, and I didn't always do this, but you know, there sure. was a strong urge and calling inside mm-hmm. of me and I felt so stuck and struck by fear and for years in the corporate mm-hmm. world and I felt like I'm wasting my life and mm-hmm. wasting my mm-hmm. time. I, in early 30s, I went through a big burnout and before that, I already felt like I'm like, 50 in that time, you know, yeah, like 50 sure, is a sure. lot. And I was like, I'm going to die in here, you yeah, know, yeah. in 10 years' time yeah. if I continue to do like this. Yeah, and people need that realization. It's either a realization like that, or it's going to be an illness, yeah. or another another tragedy will come into their into yes. their lives that make them wake up yes. to realize there's more to, more to this life. Yeah, and that yeah. burnout played that role to me, mm. because of what I did, I had accomplished my vague dreams of becoming a busy businesswoman. I didn't even know why, but I felt yes. like I was doing, you know, things that I thought that I should do. Mm-hmm. I made my own decisions um, and I enjoyed that. So I was quite cute with that, but yeah. I, I missed the meaning sure. part of it. Sure. And and making money just for the money didn't yes. make any sense no, to no, me anymore. Yeah. And that was, I was going against my values. So. Yeah. That's quite often when the struggles. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Are you finding many of, the, of your people that you're working with, a you client, mm. uh, in that same situation? Um, yeah, quite often, quite often. Mm. Uh, the fear, mm. the resistance, and you know how we respond and start creating the problems because uh, we are afraid mm-hmm. to make the changes. Yes. We are afraid to listen to our inner voice and, mm-hmm. and calling and make the mm-hmm. changes because we feel maybe trapped in our situation quite often it's it's like men i don't want to generalize but men who Mm -hmm. are the you know breadwinners of the family they can't make changes and you know because they have the financial responsibility on the other side it's the women who are very passionate quite often creative they don't know how to get started after having kids and and so forth how to change the career yeah and all that um that I have went through earlier in my life. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. So how did you, I mean, you, you had this almost like an awakening? Yes, I did. The situation? I, I, yeah, I did, I did. And I had been doing yoga and spiritual mm-hmm. stuff a little bit already mm-hmm. quite a long time, but I hadn't really dared to look inside of okay. me and what was in there. But it was an yeah. ending of long-term relationships. Mm-hmm. I decided putting all in for my career, hiding, numbing, avoiding yes, yes, the emotions. Yes. But I was not connected with my emotions, no. and that burnout really yeah. cracked me open. Yes, yeah. To feel, and I tried. I realized what's the problem, mm-hmm. but I didn't know how to get there. Right. But slowly, surely, I found a way. Yeah. But I was trying to get some external help, but I didn't, you know, it was no. nothing really worked. No. I needed to sit down and meditate. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Well, meditation is such a, a beautiful thing. It's not just for the for beginners or, 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 the, or the gurus and everything else mm. out there, but it's everyone in between as well. And it's such a good medium to start yeah. for so many people just to... Yeah. You know, and, and I'm sure the way you teach and, and probably myself, you know, we start slow and work work up. Mm. You know, people think they have to sit in the lotus position for, you know, at least a half an hour or 45 mm. minutes. And it's not, is it? I mean, it's, no. it's totally different. No, and it's a practice. And mm-hmm. it's like I still, you know, see myself avoiding. I know when this avoidance is happening, I'm just like... Yep. You know, getting busy, yes. you know, and I know the urge behind, like, what, what is it I don't yeah. want to face? And yes. then I t- need to sit down and journal yeah. and yeah. allow myself to go into that. Yeah. So you, beca- you, you had become this businesswoman, this mm. successful businesswoman, mm. and then you decided <clears throat> to become something different. That was the scariest part. Yeah. Tell Changing me, yeah. the identity. Yeah, yeah. Because I felt like I'm coming out of some sort of a spiritual closet because I was beca- coming out as myself Mm -hmm. and when I decided to leave my day job and Mm -hmm. I first um, trained myself as a yoga teacher that it was like an easier I had already decided I'm becoming a coach I've always had people opening up and you know they just say like it's so easy to talk to you and they're coming for and advice or something but that was deeply like inside of me Mm -hmm. that I wanted to do and that was my goal yes and vision it started yoga mm-hmm. and Reiki mm-hmm. and, you know, how we grow and yes. learn about yes. everything. Um, 
Yeah, so that's something. Okay, I'm losing my thing. Right. Yeah, no, I forgot I mean, what I said. I mean, the whole area there is, is that you you made this transition, um, which was so important from the from the yeah. business world um, to the, mm. the spiritual world and the helping world and that from there. The identity. And I started, yeah. I started publishing my journey as, as a blog first okay. in Finland where I lived mm -hmm. by that time. And in Finnish I started sharing my stories and people loved it and I was super cool. bad at writing. I was good at writing yeah. at school yeah. but you know yeah. it's so different when you start sharing and I hadn't really wrote anything. Not even journaling that was the, that I had done since yeah. I was eight years old. Yeah. Yeah. I had journals, um, but I forgot that on my twenties. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Life got really busy, yes. um, and that's how I felt. I kind of lost myself in mm -hmm. some point as a teenager already. Yes. It's an interesting yeah. because I've been going back and, of course, doing a lot of hypnosis and myself. Yes. You know, going back like when when was the that point that right. I disconnected? Right. Um, but yeah, that identity change, you know, allowing people to see me, who I really was, not yeah. behind that professional identity yes. and a role, yes. um, that was really vulnerable. Yeah, that was just going to come on to that. How, yeah. how vulnerable did you feel when you're making this transition? Yeah. yeah. You know, and the feelings the that we have. People loved it, and you yeah. know, yeah. they really resonated with yeah. that. Yeah. And I want to share their story because I want to say, like, hey, it's possible. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. It, and it I is. think this is my message, it's possible. What yes. you really crave internally is possible. It's like yeah. there's hope, there's, yes. you know, yeah. there's a meaning, there's a reason why these yeah. ideas are there. Sure, possible to become the person that they feel that yes. they need to be rather than who they think think they have to be. Yes, exactly. I and mean, that's, that's a big yeah. difference in people in it from yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, with the people that you work with, is it uh, is it a, like a fifty fifty sort of divide or split between men and women, or is it more uh, more men more or more women, women? More women. It's uh, yeah. Now it's like a fifty fifty, mm -hmm. but you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. More women. Quite often, it's like the emotional yes. side. Yes. Um, women as a mother, you know, I understand the mm -hmm. journey and the transformation. It's a rebirth. Mm. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> to become a mother and, yeah. and finding the balance between the juggle of yes. childcare and emotional chores and sure. all that, you know. Mm. So that's really what it's really, I'm really passionate about. And yeah. that's me. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that's good. important to me yeah. to, to help others to find their way as yeah, well yeah talking about money and you know yes. self-worth a yes. lot and and yeah 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 emotional like, balance and i know for for quite a while there at one stage my the clients the people that i was working with is probably like 80 percent male mm. at one stage and then mm. it sort of balances out then it goes one way or yeah. back the other way but yeah, again but which, which is journey. It and is that's journey. how we change yeah. as coaches so yes. it's like yeah. as we transform and suddenly we become interested about other topics right yeah, yeah exactly so exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 so it's it's, a, it's this transition that we we all have to make and it doesn't mm. matter the age doesn't matter the gender or mm. whatever it is important that yes. we, we look at doing something and there's a lot of people and this is why the you know the becoming podcast is here to show people there are different um, options and alternatives because mm. you know, not everyone's going to resonate with the way that I work mm. and and so there's you know this is why you're here mm. to share what you do mm. you know and of course it's beautiful it's just sharing it's helping people to to help themselves mm. you know and then, yeah. then the transition and that's that's you know that, that's wonderful payment really for mm. us yeah from there yeah um is there you know when people come to see you um is there something that sort of I'm trying to say, um, does you help with an, more a subject or area than others? Is there a certain area that you? Um, well, it's a it's a transformational process. So sure. We for you know I have created this clarity method over the years, and I always see that I, when I'm working yeah. with clients, especially one on one, they go through the same process, different yes. topics, unique yes. experiences. But we first need to do some healing part, meaning that we are, you know, getting the energy back. For yes. example, when they're feeling exhausted, tired, or even have like burnout symptoms, and finding the motivation and, and it, um, you know, really the drive and yeah. 
until we can really tap into some creative ideas and yes. that creative phase. Yes. And the last part is like uh, implementing it all yeah. to get the cells going. And they have a toolbox of new habits. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, you know, saying meditation is for everybody no. because of my own interest. Yes. My toolbox yes. is super large yeah. and really like practical high performance habits mm. or, you know, mindsets or how to shift the energy and maintain the energy, energy management tools. Um, and really pretty simple tools how to achieve the goals yes. how to get them going creating we're always creating a big vision yeah. so painting a new painting yes. for the new phase of life yes yes and where they want to be and just like uh, this week i've been working with my wonderful clients and it's it's amazing like how they tap into this um when coaching and knocking the door even different angles yes. and when they give themselves permission to say like that's what I really want. Yeah. It's getting over the fear. That's and they start shining yes, and, yes. and really getting inspired of their yeah. own visions. Yeah. And then I know that's that's yes. it. Yeah. We're tapping into yes. something big here. Yeah. 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 And then the next phase is to help them to get going okay. and getting over the really practical daily resistance right. challenges. Um, habits yeah. they might be uh, holding themselves back it can be self-trust destructive habits like alcohol drinking or yeah. it can be different kind of how they avoid why they procrastinate why sure. they're not doing the, the work sure. yeah yeah i mean you <laughs> you moved from from the corporate world to the, mm. to the to the healing world to the spiritual world did you have to make many changes in your own life your lifestyle to adapt to this or i mean you had a huge transition with moving countries and things as well yeah and the transformation the biggest one happened already in finland mm -hmm. i don't know i feel like the past 10 years have been like a, a lot of uh, changes and yeah. growth and for me but the um of course yeah adjusting my own habits and mm -hmm. and really um fine-tuning my you know understanding my own values what mm -hmm. really speaks to me what where do i who do i want to spend time with how do i want to spend my yeah. time for example what kind of people i allow to my space and yes. my world yes. what do i spend so that all happened and you know it's like a decluttering yeah. and, and cleansing as we are growing in that way which is not always that easy there's no. a, you know letting go is it can be yeah. sad yes yes and there's a lot of grief related to these changes and transformation as well yeah um and then it's really good to have some support along yes. the way yes yeah along the way and that's that's one of the biggest fears what people have like what do others think mm, like sure. i did you know what does my family think my yes. family don't want me to change sure no 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 no, to move over, you know, to change and to move and to do mm. all the things that you've that you've yeah. had to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it doesn't necessarily mean like huge changes. It's no. like a, it's it's unique yeah. situation for everybody. Sure, sure. So if people come to see you or they they contact you, what can they expect? They can ex expect. Um, yeah, I'm super <laughs> open and frank. <laughs> Yes. Also very yes. intuitive because yes. if I hold myself back from as a coach mm -hmm. and not saying what I see, you know, then we're not getting there. Yeah. They can expect results because uh, that's really, I, I think I have really high professional moral. Yes. And it's important for my clients, to me, that my clients get the, what they came Sure to seek and yes. you know that we get there together yes yeah so i don't been doing this for 10 years now so i kind of know to estimate how long does it take yeah. for yeah. me to take people over there yes and hold the space yes and i work with people who are committed and yeah. want to take action and yes. really want what they want and they don't know exactly need to know where they want to go yeah. but i help yeah. them to know so yeah. But really willing to do the work and yeah. willing to show up, and yeah. quite often they are have had enough 
of what they have, so they're sure. ready to change. The motivation is there to get going yes. because there's still a, the, the the lifestyle out there for so many people is the is the matrix. Yeah. You know, red pill, blue pill. I want the quick fix, mm, mm. and I want this to happen now, rather than knowing that you know you've got to put the work in yeah. to do something. Yeah about it and it's a steady progress although sometimes it yeah. can be faster in, in some areas than yes, others but absolutely and you know i hold the hand and mm -hmm. make it safe and hold the space for them so it's sure. like a, yeah that's what i hear from my clients they always say like it, i feel so sh safe to share with to you and mm -hmm. you know it's like a you yeah yeah yes so. yeah yeah we talked about um with our meetings before about intuition mm. um as a big thing and mm. that's that's for you as well when you're working with with clients yes. yeah and i haven't really thought about it too much mm -hmm. but you know of course i see like a couple of years ago i started seeing and realizing how much i i tap into it i switch it on kind yes. of uh, what's in there yeah yeah and yeah of course intuition is not like it's it's on all the time so um yeah. but you know knowing and listening to myself and my intuition what do they need so yes. we move forward yeah. and sometimes i you know i see people and i know like okay there's a lot of fear going on mm -hmm. and making it easier mm -hmm. in that sense and safer to share and yes. be vulnerable yes that a lot of my clients you know they're not that connected necessarily with themselves and sure. that's the first part like we're raising awareness yes yes yeah it, it really is it's the realization that is the is that something has to change yes in their lives absolutely really. i don't yeah not necessarily knowing what it is yeah. or knowing what it is but they just can't get there yeah. Yeah. like for yeah. example professionally quite often sure like, sure what, what's what's going on but they have quite often tried a lot of things yes and then they come to me. Yes, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, and and the, we talked about it a little bit, but it's the pressure, mm. the pressure from from their their close family mm. as well to be seen, to be having a a, a job, mm. as it were, you know, mm. to pr provide and uh, and to stay in the safe zone. Mm. You know, where a lot of people, then it's like for yourself and for myself, is stepping out of the of this um, comfort zone, mm. isn't it? Yeah, and taking yeah. a plunge and having a go, and that's, yeah. that's, that's important. Absolutely. I think I could have planned that a little bit more, and with the help of coach, yeah. I could. <laughs> a bit, tiny bit easier. Yes, yeah. But, you yeah. know, there were not that many coaches in Finland at that time. Sure. And, you know, it was quite new. And it's different here in Europe than yeah. in the USA, where yes. I lived earlier. So coaching and coaches are being used differently and less, but more and more. Right, mm. right. Yeah, yeah. People who are, who are becoming aware that they need help and they can't do it by themselves and they, they're in that rut. Absolutely. That sort of situation. Yeah. They get in the hole and they need to try and dig themselves out. But there is a, not so much digging. There's yeah. other options available to them. Absolutely. And as I combine hypnotherapy with mm -hmm. my work, you mm -hmm. know, that's like a, how we get a quick transformation happening. Yes. Yes. It's beautiful how your subconscious reveals yes. why. Yeah. Why there's a need to suffer, struggle or lack of courage or... Yeah. All, all kind of a things. Yes, yeah. Well, yeah. a mix of everything can be yes. as well as it's all in, all in the pot here, and you've got to pull out one at a time, or yeah. to have a look at them from there. Yeah. Um, is there, if people are looking at this, is there one thing you'd like them to, to take away from this? I think listening to themselves mm -hmm. and really trusting themselves mm -hmm. and trust is an interesting thing because we need to trust ourselves and trust the unknown when we are mm -hmm. stepping out there. It can be a tiny step because then nothing happens really quickly. So yes. that's that's not that's you know unnecess unnecessary fear. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Because it's not going to happen that no, fast. No. It's not going to happen in a day. You no. know. And the yeah. success. You know. Sometimes there's fear of success people have, yeah. and it's not going to happen in yes. one day. Yeah. No. No. So that's that's the fear that people can let go of. Yes. But really, I think trusting and listening to that inner voice and start taking steps and getting some help and support mm -hmm. on their journey to yes. get there and really getting really clear with their visions. Mm -hmm. And life is short. It is short. It's very Cliche, short. But it's yeah. very short, yeah. as we yeah. both know. You yes. know, it can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And well, making the most 
of every day. Yes. Going back, we can visualize, we can focus on the outcome, but we have to come back to today yes. and enjoying it and be present here. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, very much in the moment. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and a lot of us are or have been at some stage in fear of what could happen mm. in the future, you know, when we, when it, a lot of the times it doesn't happen. Yeah. Or, <clears throat> or in the past, where they say some of the latest research showing that some of our memories of the stories we're told, especially in the dramatic ones, that 50% of it didn't actually happen. This is very interesting that you mentioned that because I was just writing a short post about it this week. Yeah. And I was like, uh, yeah. I know, I know, I know. And, you yeah. know, it's like, especially when we think about, you know, quite often people who are connected with their caretakers who might mm -hmm. be abusive or toxic or, or partners and yes. they have to still be connected with them. And they think that they have changed, that yeah. they behave differently than we remember them yes. be doing that for us when we were children or yes. something. And that's very interesting that you mentioned that because quite often, you know, the experience was really real, mm -hmm. but the events were not exactly yes. like yes. what happening. Yeah. So the emotions and the feelings were yes. real. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and you've got to work with that as yeah. well, you know, and, and yeah. until they have the realization or reality yeah. of what actually did happen or Absolutely. didn't happen. Absolutely, and emotionally heal the mm -hmm. trauma and let go of that so yeah. that it's not about other people and dependent on yes. them. But they forget as well, yeah. you know, and and they always want to try differently, yeah. well, not always, but sometimes Sure. try differently. No, no. And it, behave differently. Yes, yeah. Well, this, they, they want 50 to. 50 years ago or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, they want to, they want to behave differently. Yeah. You know, they want to behave differently in the family situation. Yes. Uh, in, in a work situation. Yeah. All the different situations that they're in, mm. they want some sort of change. Absolutely. And this is why they're coming to see you. Yeah. Yeah, and that's yeah. really important. Yeah. The people that are that are listening to this, is there something that um, you know you'd like people to take away um, you know, from this, from the becoming mm. podcast with the the work that you do? Mm. Is there something that you'd like them to? Well, becoming the real self. It's like mm -hmm. the it's what most of my clients say. Like I just want to be myself. Yes. Even the young clients that I have worked with, and they say, like, I just want to be myself, and sure. I feel like I need to be somebody else. The expectations are like that. Yeah. yeah and when yeah. you feel that you are yourself, mm -hmm. your authentic self, most mm -hmm. of the time, we all have these layers. Yes. But then you can listen to yourself and yeah. take the, and listen to your values yes. and respond from different places because you have the confidence and self esteem and feeling grounded. Yes, and the in belief in, in yeah. who and what you really are and why you're here. Yeah. And that, that's an important one as well. And so, trust yeah. that I and spoke trust. about earlier. Yes. So that's really yes. about like, hey, I'm here, I'm yes. good enough, I'm good yes. enough, I can speak out, I can, and you know, I'm safe. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and and it, it, it'd be laughing, but it's yeah, safe to be safe. It's the main thing. Really, isn't it? Mm. It's part of our, you know, the lower three chakras. It's mm. all about our survival and being yeah. safe. Yeah. And very much there, and yes. virtually all blocked in that area. Yeah. And, and I so think important. we're all a little bit more open here, up. Yes. And distracted yes. and in the head. And At the moment, here. we're distracted, aren't we? There's a lot yeah. of distractions going on. Yes. So, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. With the devices and everything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, with everything going on mm. there. So no, no, it's fantastic. Jenny, hey, thank you. Thank you so Wonderful much. Wonderful having you here. Thank um, you. I'm going to put Jenny's details down below there to get in contact with her. This is so much that she does, but the work that she does is fantastic, getting wonderful results. So please you know, reach out to Jenny and, and make contact. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, a big thank you to, to Share um, at uh, webdesignshare.com for helping me with the website and all the other work that she's helping me with. Big thank you, and to you for tuning in to the Becoming Podcast. Yeah. Fantastic. And I'll catch up with you guys soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.